Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions video. I'm really excited for this one and it is on the Josie Marin um, coconut watercolor eyeshadows and these are really really popular. They just came out and as you can see they look kind of funny when they're separated because they have oil. But yeah, I'm super super excited about this and let's just jump into it. I haven't used these at all yet. I've swatched them on my hands and that's all. I have two. I have Rio de Rose Gold and beach sand and I think I'm going to be using Rio de Rose Gold. I'm just going to demonstrate this and tell you what I think. I already have on my base and my eyebrows and I put on the balms, put a lid on it which is just a primer because I don't know how these wear as far as creasing goes so I wanted to be prepared for that. I probably should show you the packaging that it came in. That would be good. First of all, it came in this box. I saved it. And then the packaging... I, already, I probably shouldn't have unpackaged them, but I could not help myself. Looks like this. And as you can see, the, the color that they are is on the top. I don't know if you can tell. But this one's bronze and this... Yeah, this one's bronze and this one's pink. So, yes. It came with these applicators in plastic. And they were secured with this little black lid. And I'm sure that's just to prevent the applicator from becoming too saturated in the product, which it does. It does. That's my only criticism thus far, is that when you take out the doe foot applicator, it's extremely saturated, which is not really that big of a deal. Just have to kind of press it against the sides to get the rest of the product out, because this is entirely liquid. I was expecting it to be more of a cream when I purchased it. And it is completely liquid, which I don't have a problem with. So I'm just going to try to position myself so I'm in the frame. And I'm just going to start dabbing this. Wow. <laughs> I just dabbed it like twice. And you see how vibrant that is? And it's kind of like working with like a lipstick almost. Like a liquid lipstick because of the applicator. But it's really interesting. I've never used anything like this before. And it's very watery, like you would expect it to, with how pigmented it is, to be like really, like really thick. It's not at all. One thing I just did is I looked forward and I got some up here. So that tells me you have to kind of keep your eye the way it is while it dries. I'm just applying like the smallest amount too. It says on the bottle to apply a tiny bit. On the bottle it says, how do you shake it up? And use sparingly, a little goes a long way. So, do that. Then I'm just taking it on the other eye. And I bet if you used a synthetic brush to apply this, just applied it, excuse me, applied it onto the do, um, the doe foot applicator onto the brush, I'm sure you could get a more sheer coverage. Or you could dab it on and then sheer it out once it's on your eye. That's also a possibility. Or even just use your fingers. And that works nicely. Just to blend it out. Really doesn't take away from the pigmentation at all. It's gorgeous. And as you can see, it literally looks like you melted gold and put it onto your eyelids. It is so incredibly pigmented. It's crazy. Something I've really noticed about these is you really do need to let them dry. And I'll just give you a close-up of what it looks like. And I'm sure the camera isn't doing it justice. It's extremely vibrant in person. So, it's really beautiful. Uh-oh. I'm waiting. My box. I'm going to highlight, just to put it all together. I'm just using Max Shroom, which is the <laughs> eh, white one. <laughs> It's hard when everything's reversed in the camera. I'm just putting that under my eyebrow. I would not recommend putting this under your eyebrows. <laughs> that would be a little weird. Though they do have a light pink shade that would be good for highlighting. I haven't, I don't have that one, but it's supposed to be a really pale, like champagne, baby pink color, which I'm sure is gorgeous. And now that it looks dry, I'm going for a pretty simple look today. I'm just going to go in with MAC Soft Brown right there. 
if you're not in the Mac or you're on a budget or something and you only want to buy one Mac eyeshadow, Soft Brown's it for me. It's like the most simple tan type of mm, warm tan color. I use it literally every day that I wear eyeshadow. Perfect transition color. Perfect. I'm sure there are a lot of dupes out there too though. I'm a big believer in matte eyeshadow in the crease. Though I'm sure that um, beach sand would be beautiful in the crease. I'm going for more of a simple laid back look today though. So That'll be for another day. I'll have to do another demonstration with the other one. But the real reason I bought these is because of the rose gold color. And that's why I demonstrated that one. And as you can see, I blended it out a little bit, and I did get a little bit of it rubbed off from my brush. So that tells me it would probably be a really good idea to put on your transition color before you do this. And then also you would have to blend it out again, but you probably lose less of the product. So I'm just putting a little bit more on, especially up on the upper eyelid where we lost some of our product due to the blending. And as you can see, it really does, it looks pretty well blended out there. So overall, I really, really love these. Amazing color payoff. The color payoff, you can't ask for anything better. That's the, go the rose gold. So you can, I don't know if the camera's gonna do it justice, but it is literally insanely metallic. Like, it couldn't be more. And then the beach sand color, it's a deeper bronze color. Almost has a bit of a taupe to it. It's a little bit of a cooler brown. I think that's gorgeous. I have noticed they wash off very easily, which is why I just washed them off of my hand the other day and they just, like I just wiped at it once. It comes right off. So that tells me that you probably should use a primer with these to avoid them creasing with the moisture of your eyelids. And But it's really nice that you don't have to scrub at your eye to get it off because I do have quite sensitive eyes. So I like products that will wash off pretty easily. As you can see, even with just one coat of mascara on the top, it's just beautiful. This kind of reminds me of a more pigmented and more copperish version of All That Glitters for MAC, which is one of my favorite eyeshadows ever so this is really beautiful and the way that I normally wear that eyeshadow is all over my lid with soft brown in the crease and just mascara if I'm going for super super low maintenance easy look it also reminds me of Amber Rush from L'Oreal a little bit that I featured that eyeshadow in my rose gold tutorial which that one's very very easy to use I'll, you know what, I'll do a comparison. Show you the difference. I can say that as far as powders go, this is the most pigmented powder you're going to get. That is a liquid, and it blows this out of the park. Like, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on camera. Probably won't do it justice, but as you can see, right here, or right here, is the Amber Rush. And next to it is the Rio de Rose Gold by J Josie Marin. Let me know if you guys would like me to do a smoky eye with the beach sand color. So I think this would be gorgeous as a smoky eye. With like some black smudge eyeliner, blend it out. I think it would be beautiful. And I did such a simple look because I really wanted to show that just with the slightest blending and just mascara, this eyeshadow still shines like you don't need to do a whole lot to yourself for it to really pop and you know I did nothing other than putting a tan in my crease and just eyeshadow um mascara so you can just see how much this eyeshadow pops and it just has so much color pigmentation so overall I would say that these are worth the hype you know they're a really big deal right now, and I definitely say they're worth it. I'm already thinking about what color I want next. I love them. They're, you get an insane amount of product for the money. So, that is the end of my review. 
Um, let me know if you'd like me to create a look with the beach sand color because I'd love to. I think that would be super fun. And also, check out JosieMarin.com. This is not a sponsored video. Josie Marin has no idea who I am. I did, These are actually my first products by Josie Marin. So yeah, I would definitely recommend these and keep your eyes peeled for her coupon codes. I got a really good deal on mine with free shipping and 20% off. So yeah, definitely keep that in mind. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this and let me know if you like these types of you know, review types of first impressions. I'm not really sure what I'm going to call this video, but we'll get to that. So thank you so much for watching and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I love you guys. Bye!